Hello, I'm Interweb Studios and today we ask Reddit what are some signs that are perceived as intelligent, but doesn't make someone actually smart. With that out of the way sit back and enjoy. A college degree. Yep, I have a degree and I'm ducking stupid AF. I have a masters and I'm the dumbest person. I have a PhD. And I once locked myself inside my car. Being in charge. Always maintain a healthy skepticism for anyone claiming to be authority, at least till they prove themselves capable. If someone's in an authoritative position, it should be others that praise them and say how good they are, not themselves. I'm the best commenter that's ever been. People always tell me, they say, VP man, that's what they call me, they say VP, you always leave the best comments. They say that. Ask anyone, they'll tell you. That's why I'm happy to announce that I'm running for comment president again 2024. Let's make comments great again, again. I know it, you know it, everybody knows it. In fact I've got friends in high places, I can't tell you how high, but they're really very high, and they're experts in this stuff, and they always say that VP man is a commenter of world class. They should know, they're experts. This describes my time working in public education. Many people that reach administrative level positions are wholly incapable. You know it's bad when teachers are homeschooling their kids or sending them to private schools rather than enrolling them in the district that employs them. Age. Actually, every toddler I've ever met was a ducking moron. That's what they want you to think. Arrogance portrayed as confidence. A truly intelligent person knows that there's things they don't know, and keeps trying to learn. An idiot refuses to acknowledge that there's anything they don't know, and fears doing anything that might prove it. If you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. I'll remember this when I am lying alone in bed tonight. You are never alone, have fun sleeping. This was unnecessarily ominous. Don't worry, they are talking about the billions of microbes in your skin right now. I'm living in China right now and everyone keeps calling me intelligent as I'm bald and left-handed. Apparently bald equal intelligent now. The heat that smart people's brains give off burns off the hair. Finally someone bringing some science into this discussion. Damn, no wonder I've got a full head of hair at 52. Cornering people in arguments with bullying tactics and acting like it means they won. The people that say, oh sweetie, in an argument. Or, do your research. I'm not going to spoon feed it to you. When someone makes a pretty spectacular claim and you ask them to back it up with a source. I hate this line of thought so much. You see it constantly on Reddit with people like this. I once asked a dude in three separate comments to please link their source after I linked five sources refuting their claim. Each time I was told my sources were bad and they never provided one themselves. I know someone who loves to do that with climate change denial. If you say stuff like, too much carbon dioxide is bad, he will corner you privately like a bully and kick arguments and proof at you so fast that you can't respond fast enough, and he'll act like he won. Later on, if you have time, you'd find out that his proof is from dubious sources but by then, the convo is over and it'd be too late for a rebuttal. On top of that, he's a local journalist. So once, an investigative reporter ripped apart his climate change claims in an article. And I mean ripped apart. The general gist was, he sounds like he knows what he's talking about but he is absolutely full of shit. It was gorgeous. Edit. Oh and he used big words too. Often incorrectly and with hideously incorrect grammar. Lol. Solving a Rubik's Cube. True, I learned how to do it quite fast once I looked on Google. It's just consistent practice until you memorize it. My patience doesn't last long enough to read through the instructions. I did about 5 turns and gave up. Good to know someone's worse than me, I did 6 turns before giving up. Hot take here, but I actually disagree I think solving a Rubik's Cube, or memorizing digits of pi, or learning to do similar skill, memorization tricks are pretty good signs that a person's intelligent. Not because these things take a lot of intelligence to do, and it's definitely not true that if you can't do these things, you're not intelligent, but the type of person who sees a Rubik's Cube, doesn't understand how to solve it, and responds by going out and learning how to solve it just to see if they can. Usually the type of person who applies that to other aspects of their lives, too, like, say,
being able to code, or learning a new language, or understanding complex math or science and it's that mentality, over time, that makes a person actually intelligent. So, sure, you can find a dumbass who learned to solve a Rubik's Cube in 5 minutes from an online video, but in all other ways is a low watt bulb. But that kid in your class who learned how to solve one as soon as she saw it, and memorized 50 digits of pi because why the hell not, and took a bunch of difficult classes just because she likes challenges. She's way more likely to be going places in her life than the kid next to her who'd rather stare at her phone from sunup to sundown. I agree. Solving a Rubik's Cube doesn't require intelligence, but pursuing it could be a sign of intelligence. Silence. I've been told so many times that I'm thoughtful and a deep thinker but really I can't figure out what to say lol. My girlfriend thinks my silence is me thinking hard or letting her sort her emotions out but it's really me trying to think of anything to say but I'm a dumbass. Better to remain silent and be thought a fool than say something and remove all doubt. Even better if they think you're smart lol. There's a very good saying about that, I may be paraphrasing but I've always heard it as, a wise man speaks because he has something to say, a fool speaks because he has to say something. Scoring an A when I was 14. Scoring an E when I was 24, and at a rave. Giving an O to a woman. Ducking this. I was all as and B's till high school. Occasionally I'd have one C or something but come high school started T struggling a lot with math. Like ended up needing a tutor for basic high school math. And yet, because I had okay grades into middle school, my parents think I am super smart and the only reason I could get a C in a class was not trying. Like duck sake dude, I'm average. Not smart, not dumb, just average. And I'm totally cool with it, but they don't believe me. Ah, uh, just one more year and college is done. Glasses. I've worn glasses since I was a kid. No one ever thought I was smart because I wore glasses. I mainly just got made fun of. Now no one cares that I have glasses. That I know of. And I tend not to notice if you're wearing glasses. Having money. I know someone who is fairly wealthy. He has worked with several billionaires and other wealthy people. He told me that luck is a much more important factor than people realize. Of course some people work hard but most are just exceptionally lucky. Also, nine-tenths times they are assholes. There's a lot of research that supports his claim. The actual trait that tracks with wealth the closest is charisma. Edit. To clarify how statistics work, being charismatic doesn't mean you will be wealthy. Being wealthy doesn't mean you are charismatic. But if you could pick one skill to increase your chance of being wealthy, studies indicate it's probably charisma. As someone who has been more successful than my raw intelligence or work ethic might suggest, my main motto in life is. You catch more flies with honey than vinegar. Be nice, be polite, smile, attempt to be funny, and be moderately good looking. Even just dressing nice and take care of hygiene and you'll be someone people want to be around. If people want to be around you, business opportunities will follow. It's not rocket surgery. Strong opinions, held with confidence. 80% of podcasts just screamed out in unison. Yeah 80% sounds like about the right number, maybe even 85%. I can confidently say it's 91.34%. A cromulent vocabulary. This embiggens me. I chortled gleefully at this repost. Talking fast even if you're saying the dumbest shit. The trick is to say enough dumb things that the person you're talking to gets confused as to where to even begin. Yeah that's a real strategy bullshit artists use. As someone who's been in academia and the field of medicine research for many years, I promise you. Despite what people who aren't really in these spaces might think, it isn't exactly crawling with geniuses. Now there are a few gifted people to be sure but 99% it's perfectly average people who just showed up and did the work. It's more commitment than intelligence. As long as you don't have an actual severe learning disability and have access to the correct resources, this is a big one and put in the effort, you can do it too. Also, don't ever assume that just because someone is incredibly knowledgeable at one thing that it will carry over broadly to other things. Some of the most successful people have incredibly narrow, focused specialized knowledge. If an orthopedic surgeon tries to talk to you about infectious disease, take it with a grain of salt. If an astronaut tries to talk to you about the economy, take it with a grain of salt. 
Being Asian. Community had a funny play on this. Hey math club, I'm Asian. You Asian? That's pretty racist man. That wasn't a no. Being able to memorize. Having a good memory is definitely helpful and often shows intelligence but just being able to spout facts does not mean you understand them or can think about things critically. This is genuinely infuriating. I'm an engineer and have a lot of colleagues that can dance circles around me with formulas and definitions but can't design their way out of a cardboard box. I look like an idiot because I can never remember the correct terminology for things because it isn't used colloquially, and I have to Google conversions. It honestly takes both kinds, but the people who can shit random facts tend to be perceived as smarter, typically. Being emotionally stunted. High IQ does not equal low EQ. You can be a dick and stupid and you can be smart and charismatic. It's not one or the other. I think a lot of people believe in the myth of natural justice, karma. They think if someone is smart they must be lacking in other areas, sort of like if everyone is a character with a fixed amount of base stats that can just be allocated differently from person to person. The reality is that smart people are also often very well spoken, confident, wealthy, and attractive. And dumb people don't get free points in these areas either. Most people think someone intelligent is good at basically everything, when there's different types of intelligence. I suck at basically everything, now Neil. You're good at sucking. Americans often attribute Brits who speak in English accents as smart, but minorities who speak in other accents, and speak multiple languages as not as smart. Brits who speak in certain accents. There's a lot of prejudice about accents of Brummie and someone from the home counties sound very different and are often received very differently. With that I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button and comment anything that may have been missed. Until next time. Toodles.